Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you a very basic about how to land into single user mode in RHL 7 and also I'm going to show you how to reset a root password because in many scenario if you forgot the root password and you wanted to troubleshoot and when need to go to maintenance mode and you do not have root password then it would be a problem so I'm going to show you first how you are going to land into single user mode first and then you can able to reset your root password and also why I'm preparing this video because probably many people they have know already how to prepare uh, how to log in into single user mode and reset the password in single user mode in RHL 6 or earlier distribution but not in RHL 7 so it is a little different because of the system D based system here in RHL 7 and that is why I thought to prepare one video for you guys okay so first thing what do you need you need to reboot your system just reboot it and once you reboot the system it will prompt for your menu prompt here for your kernel so here as you can see the press E for edit in the bottom I just need to press E and once you press E you have to go to the bottom of this file and here you can see Linux 16 and VM Linux your kernel information in entirety information so in that you just have to go to the last line and here you have to press init equal to and you have to specify I need a shell so this is what I'm going to do bin bash or bins ss so once I specify that then I just have to press control x like you see here in the bottom press control to start and control c to go into the command prompt or escape mode okay so let me just go to go and press control x and it should give me a prompt here okay so now I got a, got a prompt so I can be able to see the system information this is my file system information and also if I just run mount I grab for root file system I can see it is read only so if I now just try to reset the password running password command it says authentication token manipulation error why because the file system slash root is read only so now if I run this command again or if you see the above command here you can see in bracket it says read only right so we have to mount that root file system as read write so how we are, we are going to do we are just going to remount the file system as read write done so now if I just grab it again and I can see it is read write so now I will be able to reset the password password I just set a password called red hat and I'm good so I have updated the password and the new password is updated in slash ctc set of file so now the next thing what I have to do is I need to reboot it just to so this is the new password in hash format okay so the next thing what I have to do is I need to reboot the system so let me just reboot it but reboot command will not going to work here so what we have to do is we have to run first we have to search init okay so init is not showing here so I just need to run a command called exec which will execute my init command oh, and init command is in slash has been so let me just run this command and like you see my system is now booting into normal mode okay so it is very simple so now you know how to 
go into sync RHL mode and also reset your password in RHL7. If you feel this video is informative and you like the content, please subscribe my channel and also let me know any other topics if you would like to know. I will going to prepare those video for you. Thank you so much. Have a good day.